Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody doing this morning? I know I said I probably wouldn't open a lot more Modern Horizons, but I was able to take advantage of that uh, Amazon sale the other day and get some of these bundles for 61 bucks. And I think there's enough value in the set to justify opening it for that much. So uh, as the box prices keep coming down, they've come down a lot. Uh, they're very tempting right now to pick up some more. I may pick up some more if they stay lower or stay this low or go lower. Um, just depends on finances. It's a very expensive set, but it's also a really great set. So I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money on it. And, you know, Watchy knows that. <laughs> they, they get us with it hook, line, and sinker every time. Um, I know we'll spend the money. So they keep doing these shenanigans where they keep raising the prices. Looks like uh, Dungeons & Dragons, even though it's not a specialty set, is going to have a higher price. So, yeah, that's not fun. But anyway, I'm not going to complain about price of the entire video. We're going to talk about this awesome set. Here's our die in the bundles. Get with the little logo on it. Looks like you get the same die in every bundle. At least both the bundles I've opened have the same die. So, alright. In these bundles, you do get the, the usury or Yosri, or whatever it is, however you pronounce it, the Fortune's Flame, with the uh, different art and the foil. And uh, you got 20 foil basic lands underneath that, and then you got your regular non-foil basic lands. So, if you care about basic lands, there you go. There's your chance to get them. All right, so let's break in here, see what we get. The last bundle was epic. Hopefully we get another really good bundle this time around. Uh, if we get one as good as the last time, I'll be happy. So... But the set is amazing. The, the overwhelming amount of variance is too much. Sarah's Emissary, there we go. I think that might be the first Sarah's Emissary I've actually gotten. Oh, and a foil rare in the first pack. The Zabaz, the Glimmer Wasp, not worth anything. But uh, it is a foil rare. So first pack, Mythic, and a foil rare. Can't complain about that. These bundles have been, uh, like I said, first one I opened was pretty epic, pretty good. So... Hopefully this one's just as good. Oh, nice. Cabal Coffers. There we go. Second pack. Second Mythic. Oh, damn. And uh, <laughs> two rare. Uh, double rare pack again. Uh, it's funny. A lot of the YouTubers aren't actually reading the pack to realize that they changed the draft pack pull rates. And you can't actually get one to two rares or Mythics and up to four uncommons now. So... I do like the fact they did that. They, they juiced up the, the draft packs a little. I think that was long overdue. I think they need to upgrade the drafts, especially now that they got all the goofy set boxes with a million different types of goofiness in there. Calibrate a blast for our first bum pack. There we go. So, uh, <laughs> so far, we've done pretty good. Sarah's Armour Circuit and Cabal Coffers, two, two good mythics. Um, hopefully we... Pull a fetch or two out of here. That'd be nice. Piru the Volatile. Not a bad rare. Friction Germ. All right. Six packs to go. What will we get? So, yeah. If I can pick up some more of this product at decent prices and can justify it and still be able to actually afford to buy some Dungeons & Dragons, <laughs> then uh, I will. Oh, Noble Hierarch. Nice. So, yeah. These bundles have been amazing for me. And a clue token. So, so far we've, we've paid for our bundle, I think. I think between the uh, the Ignoble and the Cabal Coffers, we've probably paid for the bundle. And the uh, Emissary's just kind of gravy on top. All right. Let's uh, let's keep going. Ah, uh, Braids. And a Scalding Tarn Retro. Yeah, I think, we, uh, I think we got our money's worth out of this bundle. That's why I didn't mind opening it, because I got it for a great price. So, I kind of knew there's... Pretty good odds that we're going to get our money's worth out of it. That is the biggest thing about this set is that, yeah, it's, it's expensive, but you're probably going to get your money's worth out of it. Even as, as the prices have tanked, you're still doing pretty good. Oh, my God. And a Misty Rainforest. Two fetches in the bundle. Maybe I just have, like, extremely good luck with this set or extremely good luck with these bundles. I've been watching some other openings lately, and, I mean... People getting like one or two fetches in an entire box. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I must have really good luck with this set. <laughs> Persist. And, oh, we got crabs. Oh, no. And we got upside down packs. Why were two of the packs upside down? That's weird. I guess it's better than the upside down cards in the middle of the pack, like some of the sets have opened. <laughs> That's always freaky. All right. 
And Carthaline, not a bad rare. Oh, and a foil Marari's wig. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we uh, I think we did pretty good on this bundle. What do you guys think? <laughs> that was worth opening. Man, it almost makes me want to open another one. <laughs> uh, but I gotta keep something sealed, right? Uh, Enchantress Presence and Obsidian Charma. Not an expensive card, but one that I've only gotten one or two others of and all the stuff that I've opened. I haven't got very many of these. And that is one thing I've noticed about both this and Strixhaven. The sets are getting a lot more unpredictable, a lot more, uh, a lot more inconsistent. Uh, you're getting stuff like, like Strixhaven. I've opened tons of boxes and I've got to open more because I still have some rares that I only have one of. Rares that I only have one of. I've opened cases of Strixhaven, and I've got rares that I've only got one of. So this set's kind of the same way. Um, yeah, that Obsidian Charma, I've gotten hardly any of them. I think that's the first Sarah's Emissary I've gotten. I've opened not a ton, but I've opened, what, four full boxes, two sets, two drafts, and uh, this is the second um, bundle and two collector's boxes. And there's cards I haven't gotten yet. So the sets are very inconsistent right now. Um, and that makes it very hard as for somebody like me who does like to try and collect a good amount of everything and have a play set of all the rares for future and try to get at least one or two of each of the mythics. Um, it makes it difficult. <laughs> so, But let me know what you think in the comments below. I think we did amazing. Uh, we got a Misty Rainforest, a Retro Border Scalding Tarn, Ignoble Hierarch, Cabal Coffers, and Sarah's Emissary, and a Foil Marari's Wake for three Mythics in the bundle. And a uh, Foil Uncommon, a Foil Rare, the Zabas, uh, the Charmaw, the Chancellor's Presence, Kurt the Lion, Persist, Braids, Peru, Calibrated Blast, and Aw, oh, damn. So, we did great on the bundle, I think. I definitely got more than more value out of it than I paid for it, so I'm happy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Check out the description below. I will put some of the sale prices in the, uh, the links to the Amazon sales on the boxes, which are just ridiculously good prices right now, um, in the description below, as well as the normal links down there that'll save you money or get you cash back on your purchases. So if you... Uh, I believe the Rakuten app works through the Amazon also. So if you uh, download that Rakuten app, you get a free $10 on your first purchase uh, cash that you send to your PayPal. And then um, if you use the Rakuten app to open Amazon and then make the purchases, then you, you get a discount to get cash back on it. Um, I think it works on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure on that. But my links below will get you directly to the sale. And if you buy them through there, it does help out my channel. I get a few cents. So I really, truly appreciate it when you guys do that. And uh, then there's uh, my email down there if you want to talk to me about buying singles, like any of these gorgeousy, and uh, or doing a sponsored opening. And my actual address is down there if you want to send me something to open on camera. So thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.